Maker's Tool Works, home of the Mendel Max. Hi, this is Ryan Turner with Maker's Tool Works. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the Mendel Max 1.5 Plus and 2.0 Y-axis cars. As you can see, I've got a 1.5 and 2.0 Y-axis sitting here on a table. It's assembled, but it's not been dropped in a machine. And it's not been tightened at all either, so motion front and back is very, very free. But additionally, motion left and right and up and down is very, very free. And that can pose some problems in prints that will just introduce some erroneous extrusion placement. So the solution that we propose is to tighten the cars while having them squeezed. I want to give you a little sort of a benchmark here. This is what it looks like at the very beginning without them tightened. There's a lot of up and down play, but the important thing is the potential for play left and right. The real errors that you will encounter are because of play left and right in the y-axis. So the way that we propose people fix that is to pinch the cars while tightening the screws. As you can see for the rear cars, what I've done is pinch them with my left hand and then tighten with my right hand. It's really as simple as that. It's easiest though if you pinch the cars near the top of them. Apply the pressure near the top of the cars. For the other pair of cars, as you can see, it's a little bit easier to go underneath the rail, but it's still the same procedure. All that you're doing is pinching the cars together while tightening the screws. And with this procedure completed, there will be much, much less play in the y-axis. Once again, I'm going to show you up and down, but the important thing is resolving any sort of left and right play. Uh, that's a little bit harder to see on video, and so that's why I've just gone ahead and done up and down. Nonetheless, it's a very simple procedure that you shouldn't have to perform regularly. It's maybe once a year style thing, but it prevents major issues with prints. And it's also very difficult to see this issue as it's occurring unless it's very pronounced. So, while you're assembling your Y-axis, we recommend that you use this procedure to pinch the cars together so as to prevent any sort of play in the Y-axis, so you end up with very consistent, fantastic prints. This is Ryan Turner with Maker's Toolworks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the video comments below. Open a support ticket with us at our website, which is makerstoolworks.com. Alternatively, drop in our IRC chat room, which is pound Maker's Toolworks on the Freenode IRC network.